Hi all. In this video, let's learn about some of the typical JavaScript interview questions. So this is the part 13. So we'll be discussing the regarding these things like scope about this and writing our own native string method. So let's discuss. So the first question is regarding the scope. And uh, if you understand this is a function, this is IIFE function. It means immediately invoked function expression. It means this function will not have the method name and it function, this function will be called itself. Okay, so the question here is you have a this, this type of function IIFE method. Now, what would be here? It would be printing. What is the value of B? What is the value of A? So this is the question. So now we need to understand this in terms of scope. Firstly, here you have two assignment variables. The first variable A has declared with the var. Okay, it means var A. The scope of this variable will be exist only within this function. Okay. Whereas let it will really have having the block level scope. Whereas a function where, where, where will have the function level scope. So that's the reason as soon as this function closes or it ends the value of A, there won't be any value of A. So that's the reason here we'll be, be getting reference error. We'll be getting error here because there is no A variable declared. Whereas coming to the B, this is a bit tricky. So if you understand, B is not declared with a where keyword. It is assigned to the global scope. So it means it is attached to the global object window. So that's the reason once after the function is executed, its scope is not done still. Still it has the value of five. So that's the reason we'll be getting the value five because B is attached to the global scope object window. So that's a, that is all about this question. So if anyone asks if they keep the use strict here, so this, if they keep like this, it means we can't attach the variables to the global object window. So in this case, both the variables will be getting as undefined, like a reference errors. So this is about uh, this question. Okay, so let's see the output ones. So as I have said, the reference error will be getting, if you use use strict, so let me comment the use state. Now we'll be getting B value as five and A is reference error. It is not defined because A scope is ended. The main intention of asking this type of questions is whether we have a clear picture of understanding with how the scopes work and how the variables are attached to the globe, global object window. So that is the main intention of this, this type of questions. So coming to the second question, create our own native string method. So for example, the question would be like this. So a string dot repeatify of three. It means uh, there is no function called repeatify in a string object. So we need to develop a native string method like this, such that if you give any of the string like this, and if you use repeatify, and this should be the integer string, how many times you want to repeat the same string. So then the output should be hello, 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 like this. We need to get this type of things. So this is a requirement. So now we need to develop our own string method such that we need to support this type of things. So let's try to write this function. As we know, string dot string is a global object, string dot prototype. So I'm attaching one more function to the string object. So then only it will apply to all the strings. So that's the reason I'm taking string object dot prototype. And now I will try to keep a repeatify. So I will keep the same function name. So I will uh, enable this. I will keep the function name. So now I'm writing this function name. And now here, so before directly writing the function uh, and uh, doing like this, okay. It means I'm writing, if I'm assigning a function to this repeatify. So here our core logic would be going here. So before that, just we need to verify whether whatever the function we are writing, okay, whether that is already present in the string object or not, that we need to understand. Okay, so that's the reason I'm again giving string dot prototype dot repeatify. We are using one method, okay. We are writing our own native string method, custom string method. But what if, if this method is already existing in the string object? So then that's the reason we are doing a check whether this is there in a string prototype, then take this repeatify method. Whatever existing in a string prototype, take that. If not, then we are starting our function. 
So if that type of function is not there, then we are starting the function. And here, this function will take times. So this is an uh, like uh, how many times this uh, should be looped. So that is nothing but this object, this value, integer value. Here, this three will go here in terms of times. So how many times I need to loop the string? So now let's write the core logic, how to repeat the statement string. So let I'm taking a string, so empty string. Now I will take a loop for loop. So let I will take i is equal to zero. Now I should be less than times. So that many times I need to repeat the string. So I plus plus. So now what I will, I will do is string plus is equal to. So what I need to do, I need to concatenate each and every time I need to concatenate the string. So that is what I need to do. So that's the reason I'm doing string plus is equal to this. So this is this here, what this represents is, this is string object. So it means whatever the string you send, it will be in this way. So because this is a string value, this is a string object. So now we are calling this repeatify method with this object. So now what happens here, this means this one, hello. So that is what, because you are calling this method by using this object. So now in this place, this instance becomes hello. Here, this means hello. So that's the reason we are repeating the loop times, this many times, like three times, and we are concatenating the same string. So now, once this is done, we need to return back the string. So this is what the native method looks like. So let's check this once. So let me save this and let me check it once. So see, okay, I need to comment out this function because we got an error here, so we can't proceed further. So, okay, fine. So now if you see, it has printed hello, hello, hello. Three times it has printed, okay? It means our, whatever we wrote, the repeatify method is working. So the main points here you need to understand is, the main, why the interviewer asks this type of question is, the developer, they will test the developer knowledge about whether he has the inheritance knowledge or whether he could able to use a prototype property or not and how this uh, this is the main step here how, what he need to repeat so this means everyone will be missing here this is the object here this is a string object here in place of this hello would be there so this is the main step the main intention of asking this question is we need to have an exposure to write or uh, to modify the uh, string objects so the prototype objects also we can modify and this is about understanding the core native object oriented javascript question this type of questions okay so hope you understand this question and the main important point is before you writing the function you need to check whether this function the name which you are using is whether it is already present in the string object or not so that's the first thing you need to understand you need to see that whether it is there or not so coming to the third question this is all about this, okay? While you are discussing these type of questions, the main intention is like how this works, okay? This is first we need to understand. Uh, thereafter, how to solve this type of problems, the call and apply also we can discuss. The first thing is you have a var and a variable, okay? And also you have an object, okay? In this object, you have a full name property and also one more object within the object. That object is prop and in this object you have one more property and one more method so this is how this object is constructed so now let's discuss what will be the output here so first thing is the console object dot props dot get full name so while you are writing while you are discussing something related to the functions the first point the first important point we need to understand is how a function is invoked is important it means how you are calling this function is more important then how you have defined this function. So that where the this comes into the picture, okay? So how you are calling a function is, how you are invoking a function is very much important. That where the this comes into more picture and this uh, co role comes there, okay? So if you are calling here object.prop.getFullName. So you have an object here and you have a property. So object.prop.getFullName then what it will return so it will return this dot full name it means we'll be getting this as a output here as a string here okay this is very straightforward so the now the problem comes here so when you try to do this object dot prop dot get full name so what will happen what what will be the output here okay 
what would be the console output here when you call this as a test method. So here, what you're doing is you are referring the context function. You are referring is a global object. Here, the test is a global object, fine. This is a global object. So that's the reason this will be referred to the global context. So it will be referring to this full name. Okay, object dot prop dot get full name. It will refer to this one because test is implicitly we are setting this implicitly to the global object so that's the reason when you call this function as get we'll be getting this as an output so this is bit tricky you're getting this point this is bit tricky so yes let's see the output see the first one is this one and the second is john this is the main thing we need to understand why we are getting here the first output like where the reason behind this is object.prop, the context. When you are referring this type of things, main, main thing we need to understand is the what is the context of this function? So you call some function here. So what is the context of this function? Context is nothing but this. We can assume the context in this point as this. So you, when you are trying to invoke a function, what is the context of this function? That is main important. So that's the reason we could able to sort it out. But here, when you are trying to call this, get full name, we are getting this variable because this is a variable name, whereas this comes with a get full name method. So it means this is the reference you are getting and here you are calling that get full name method. So you, we can we can have get getter and setter functions in the JavaScript as well. So in that way, this full name variable will have get full name as a getter method. So that's the reason when test access this, if this value will be coming as a getter method. Okay, why we are getting this value means this is binded. The context of this is binded to the global object window. This is binded to the window. Why this is binded to the window means this test is implicitly converted. Let me write this. This test is, it is implicitly, so usually it is implicitly set it is implicitly set a property of global object. So the main intention is like this test is attached to the global window by implicitly. So that's the reason the context of this would be the window like global object. The context for this also becomes a global object. So that's the reason when you're trying to call this, it, this full name would be written back because for this full name, the get full name getter function is get full name. The reference is present in this text. And when you invoke that method, you'll be getting this as a string. So how to sort out this type of problems? So I only want this, this property name because I'm using the object or property, right? So if how to solve this type of things is we have call and apply methods, call, apply, bind. There would be concepts call, apply, bind in the JavaScript. I've done a dedicated video on that. I will keep that at the end of the uh, this video so you can refer that as well how to get how to solve this type of problems means you can write test you can call test dot call and now you can send you can set the context like this so if you do like this it means you are calling test means it you are calling a function now you are modifying the context of the function means you are modifying the value of this here here now you'll be getting the same value you'd be getting this one so let's see that so now we got the same outputs it means to handle to uh, modify to take overall control of this or context of a function you can use this call and apply and now you can call this test.call and you can pass the object dot property here you are setting the context of the function so that's the reason here this would be represented as this full name so this is all about some of the tricky JavaScript interview questions we have discussed in the part 13. So you can check out all the part uh, 12 series, 12 parts of the JavaScript interview questions. I will keep them as a playlist at the end of this video. Please check that out. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos.